Oh my god! I'm literally screaming right now! I take it that you've seen the nursery that I built for my nephew. Wow, you managed to do all of this in a weekend? I'm so impressed right now and so emotional. Thank you so much for doing something so nice to me. It's no biggie. I just wanted to do something nice for you. You know, you've been through a lot. Thank you. It has definitely made my day. I wasn't feeling that great after coming back from the doctor. Is everything okay? Everything is okay. I just saw the other ladies with their partners there to support them and take care of them while I was alone. It made me feel awful and my heart sank. I'm so sorry, sis. You have me and Mary. We'll make sure that your whole pregnancy goes smoothly. Thank you for taking me in. I know that's not easy for you. You have just gotten married. Mary has been so understanding as well. I can see why you married her. Yeah, that's one of the qualities that I really liked about her. God, I'm so happy that you like the nursery. I have now quenched my curiosity. I was wondering what you were up to all weekend in there. You wouldn't let anyone enter the room. Look, I was always going to build you that nursery. Just that is before what happened with Liam. Has he responded to your messages? No. I have decided to let things go. I cannot have this stressing me out right now. I just hope that it's true that time heals. I swear, if this baby was not on the way, I would have spiraled. If I see him, I'm going to make sure that he feels an immeasurable amount of pain. He better stay away from you. He doesn't deserve your time. Who does that to their wife and unborn baby? He has always battled with his demons. And they have won. I'm tired of trying to save him from himself. Not if it takes the very breath out of me. You have no idea how grateful I am that you took me in. What can I do? You're my sister. And I'll always be there for you. Okay, get back to work. I will see you soon. Where have you gone? You haven't even taken the meat out of the freezer yet. Tonight we are going out, my treat. What are we celebrating? Have you seen the nursery that my brother built for me? You said that my husband did what? He has the money to build a nursery? But he doesn't have the money for our honeymoon? Um, what? Oh, don't act dumb. Ever since he moved in with us, I've been second. I've tried to accommodate, but seriously, when are you leaving? I'm sorry that my presence gives you such discomfort. I had no idea. I thought you were only going to stay here for a while, but it seems like you want to make it permanent. Do you not feel sorry for your brother who is working day and night to support us? You should save the money that you want to take us out with. You will need it after you give birth. There is no way they're going to be staying with us. Having you here is extra. Mouth is already too much. Now you want to stay here with the whole baby? I'm sorry that you feel that way. But remember that this is my brother's home. He has always taken care of me and he wants me here. If he wants me to leave, then he should say so. I went into the nursery right now and saw it. You're seriously taking advantage of my husband and I don't like it. I'm sure that things were not that bad with your husband. Gosh. Just go and leave us alone. Jealousy is not a good look on you. I had no idea that you were so bitter. Now I'm disgusted by your behavior. I don't have to impress you. You have nothing but that baby. Wow. I wasn't expecting this. I think that we have been robbed? I take it you've seen what I did? What? How could you do that? Your husband works so hard in that room, and that is how you react? Why should he get a nursery? And I have to sacrifice my honeymoon? What the heck was that? That your honeymoon was not going to happen? Why jump to conclusions? The rest of your things outside. Mess with me again. Oh my god, do you even use your brain? Today you have utterly disgusted me. I'm lost for words. I don't even know what to say to you. When my brother sees this, he's not going to be pleased. Tell him I don't care. My mom said that you were at her house, crying. I told her not to tell you that I was there. So now you bothered to respond to my messages? Get lost, Liam. I don't want to talk to you right now. Please. We need our talk. We don't get to talk when you want to. I haven't heard from you in five months. The only way I know you're alive is because you told your mother. After all that happened, you decided to disappear and leave me at the most vulnerable time of my life. Honey, why were you crying? Who hurt you? 
It doesn't matter who did it. It's not as much as you hurt me. Look, I'm hurting too. We both know it needs to be done. Leave me alone. I'm fine. Please, answer. So you can make empty promises again? I want a divorce. What? No. Please. No. What did you expect after what you did? That I would just forgive you? Um, we're expecting a baby together. So now you want to waltz back into my life? Where the hell have you been? You left a storm behind you. And now that the dust has settled, you want to come back? There's nothing left. There's a reason why I had to leave. Please understand. I'm getting help. And I am getting better so that I can be the husband and father that you and our baby deserves. Our son deserves a present father. A father who can love, not hurt. We're having a son? Please answer the call. I will call you when I'm back home. What's going on? Hey, I've decided to sleep in my friend's house until I can get an apartment of my own. I have some savings. I'll be fine. No. Tell me what happened. Your nursery has been trashed. Did your precious wife not tell you what she did? Well, I got home and there was no one here. I've been calling her, but she hasn't responded. Yesterday she argued with me, saying that it was unfair how you made a nursery for my baby. She felt it would mean that you were not going to take her on a honeymoon. What the hell? I told her to be patient about the honeymoon. And I told her to be nice to you. What the hell is wrong with her? She's wise not to answer her phone right now. I ended up going to my mother-in-law's after what she did. Why did you go to her? To be honest, she was the one who saw me having a breakdown. She wouldn't let me go home in that state. I was with her for several hours. She wanted me to sleep there, but I couldn't sleep in the house where Liam's face was everywhere. Well, as long as he wasn't there, he wasn't. He was not, but she told him I was there. He called me. And what did you decide? I swear, if you're thinking of getting back with him... No. He just spoke to me about what happened. Did you let him know that you want to divorce him? Yeah, I did. I'm assuming that he said no. Of course he did. I'm going through with it no matter what he says. I'm so emotionally tired right now. Aww, Kelly. Please come back home tomorrow in the morning. No one's gonna remove you from this house. It doesn't matter who they are. I don't want to end up fighting with your wife. I'll speak to her, do not worry. She will apologize to you, or she will not come back to this house. Okay. Mary, why did you not wake me up? I missed the time to take my pills. No one told you to sleep in the afternoon. I see that nothing has changed. Your apology was hollow. I'll be cordial with you for my husband's sake. But nothing has changed between us. I still hate you with a passion. I never get anything nice anymore because he's always thinking about your baby. I'm sorry that I'm ruining things. Don't worry, I will leave soon enough. Besides, your husband contacted you. He's alive, so you should go back to him. It's not that simple. Tell me then, what really happened with you two? Of course my brother didn't tell you what really happened. I requested him not to because I wanted to maintain my privacy and it was still fresh. I might as well tell you since it will come out when we get divorced. I'm all ears. Liam was the love of my life. He was the best person ever. I really thought we would be together forever. But Liam was hiding so much from me. He was a functioning alcoholic and hid it from me. One day, his other personality came out. We were at his friend's house. He got into a fight with someone and that person ended up in the hospital. And then you left him? I stayed. I tried to get him to quit drinking. But he got so sick, I don't know how he managed to hide his problems from me. Or when they even started. It turned out that his mother knew. She helped him hide it while she was trying to help him. Then I found out that I was pregnant. This was after months of arguing. Did he hurt you? He told me that he didn't want to have a family. And he said he didn't want to have kids. And then he tried to end his own life. What the? I found him and got him to a hospital. He left the hospital and disappeared. I only heard from him yesterday. He's only in contact with his mom. She gives me limited responses. Wow, that is heavy. Yeah. I need to digest this. Hi, I'm back in town. Can we talk? What do you want? A welcome party? 
What I want to do is tell you the full truth, something that I've managed to keep hidden from even my own mom. I swear that there's a reason why all of that happened, and I'm on a path to getting help. How do I know? I tried to save you so many times. I want to be saved. I swear I did, but I just couldn't tell you the full truth. When I went away, I did some real soul searching. What did you find out? We have to see each other in person, please. Okay, I'm gonna come and see you at your mother's house. Okay. Why is it that I hear he's back in town? And you went to see him? Thanks for messaging me. I was about to message you because I had a question. What is it that you have to ask? I told your wife about what happened in my marriage. Now she's going around spreading rumors about me. I thought we were making progress. Why the hell would she do that? And at the worst possible time. Uh, what do you mean? I finally managed to get you a slot for your honeymoon. You what? Six months ago, I booked a one-week cruise for your honeymoon with a luxury ship. There's a waiting list. Most people are on it for years. But I know someone who could get me something this year. So I paid for everything six months ago. I wanted to do something special for you since you have always supported me. Oh my god. You would do all of that for me? Yes. I was gonna give you the tickets to the two of you tonight. Wow. You really are too kind. Hey, are you okay? No. I'm tired of that ungrateful brat. I heard you two fighting. It sounded pretty intense. She doesn't want to apologize for what she said about you and your husband. I regret telling her what happened. She doesn't know the full story. Wait, what excuse did he give to you? It's complicated. Just come home. You cannot be out driving right now. I don't want to see that woman right now. Why the hell did you have to be so secretive? Now your tickets have caused me and my husband to fight. You're talking crap about me to your friends because you don't have lives, is what caused the two of you to fight. I told you what happened in confidence. People need to be aware of him. He's a raging alcoholic and back in town. Don't you dare speak about him like that. So now you have changed your tune? Wow, he's back in town for a day and you're already crawling back to him? I am not. I'm not going to say anything more about him to you, lest it becomes tomorrow's gossip. I will tell you that if you continue to talk about us, I will forget that you're my brother's wife. Mary, I need help. What do you want? I cannot get a hold of my brother. Right now, I cannot drive. I'm not feeling good at all. Then dial 911. You're the one who said that I shouldn't meddle in your business. I'm serious. Something is wrong with me. Leave me alone. Please help me. I'm so scared right now. You're just being dramatic right now. For every small thing. You have to call my husband. Please, I'm serious. My husband decided that we are not going on honeymoon because of you went and slapped him. So I owe you no favors. You could die for all I care. Something is wrong with me. I'm at my brother's house. I'm outside. Come in. A couple hours later. Tell me when you're awake. Hey, I'm awake. I thought you were still here. You left already? No, I'm in the waiting area, and your brother is here. But he doesn't want me to see you. I will talk to him about it. How did he even get here that fast? As soon as I got your message, I got into the car. I'm sure that I earned myself a speeding ticket. I couldn't let anything happen to you. And look, I know it's a far cry from how I've been acting all year. Don't worry. You explained everything to me. Thank you for getting me here on time. I'm fine, but they had no choice but to do a C-section. You're not at nine months yet. I blame myself for putting you under so much stress. No, it's not your fault. My sister-in-law was on my case all week. I will let them bring you in. You deserve to be here. Don't worry about my brother. I'll explain everything to him. That is, if you're okay with it. Yes, you can tell him. I feel like the people closest to me need to know what's up. I've decided to accept my condition and not hide it. Hiding it led me to losing a lot. Even my own friends don't want to talk to me due to the mess that I made. Please, don't say that. That was not you, okay? Hey. 
Hey, I've just gotten home safe. Thanks for allowing me to be there for the scan. So, we really had a baby. Wow. Will you be there tomorrow when they do surgery, or will it be too much for you? Don't worry. I can come. It won't be an issue. The doctor said that we will have to stay in here for a few weeks before I can get discharged. Okay. As long as you're okay, how did your husband end up coming to the house? I saw the missed calls, but I was in a meeting. I was in pain until Mary. She didn't care. She told me that I could die and she wouldn't care. She was resentful towards me because I canceled the trip. So I took the chance and called him. I'm surprised that he came. Did he not say that he didn't want to be a father? Yes, but he explained everything to me. Now things make a lot more sense. He's not the same person that left me. He's getting help. Okay, make it make sense. Liam has a personality disorder. It has progressed. As he got older, he started to experiment with different substances so that he could stop seeing and hearing things. It worked for a while, but things got worse and he was struggling. He didn't want to tell me the things that he was seeing and feeling because he thought I would leave. It was easier for me to deal with alcoholism than something he couldn't even understand. Why did he not go to the doctor then? He felt that as a man, he couldn't admit to weaknesses. He couldn't even admit to himself that he was spiraling. When he heard that I was going to have a child, he got so scared that he would hurt the baby, or that the baby was going to get his genes. Is it hereditary? To be honest, I don't know. I'm still learning more from him. But when he left, he was taken in by the church. From there, they got him some counseling till he could see someone who specialized in mental health. They had him on different kinds of pills till they got a combination that worked. He said that some of the meds they had him on actually made him worse, and he became suicidal. But he carried on trying to get help because he wanted to be okay for me. Oh my goodness. I wish you would have just reached out. I once lost a friend who didn't get the help that he needed. He just stayed strong because that was what people needed him to be. I'm just so hurt that I had no idea that that was happening to him. He's better now. He has been free from drinking or taking substances for a month. As long as he takes his pills, he will be good. Okay, if you say so. But I can't let you stay with him yet. I'm not sure if you're safe. Your safety is my number one priority. I understand and respect that. But trust me, he has such love for his son that he could never do anything to him. He just needed some time from all of this. Mental health needs to be taken so seriously. We have no idea how people are feeling on the inside until they start to crack. Then we should make a pact to always be honest with each other about how we are feeling. I will start. I'm tired. I haven't spoken to Mary since what she did. Every time I look at her, I get very angry. I have no idea what to even say to her. I'm so disgusted that she would mean you harm. So you're not going to go on the honeymoon? It's next week. I'm sorry that I wasted your money. I'll return the tickets to you. You can resell them and use the money for the baby. Okay, not a problem. Why is your stuff not out of the house yet? Your husband returns, so there is nothing here for you. I'm on my way home right now. I will sort it out. Hey, open the door. There's some men in the house who are taking my clothes from my room. Yes, that is not a mistake. I told you that I would sort out our living arrangement, did I not? Well, yes, you did, but you should have told them to go to the right room. Let me direct them. No, they're going to the right room. You're moving out. You cannot kick me out of my husband's house. Soon to be ex-husband. Did you not see the divorce papers? Check on the kitchen counter. I'm not going to stay in the same house as you. What if you harm me? You cannot do this. I will call the cops. You may, but I will tell them that you are trespassing on my property. What? Yes, this house is mine. No, it's not. When I got married, I got my brother my house to stay in. I figured that when he got married, he could carry on living here with his family. I never put it in his name because I wanted to protect him if he didn't get a prenup. Wait, what? So I'll get nothing in the divorce? Yes, you will not. Are you forgetting what you did to me before I went into labor? I have tried to give you a chance and the benefit of the doubt because my brother is married to you. But now it's enough. Have you wondered why he hasn't spoken to you in weeks? I'm the one who has not been speaking to him because he canceled our honeymoon. 
I was never going to speak to him till he apologized. You didn't deserve anything after what he did. You have been nothing but rude and disrespectful to his sister. I'm the only one who paid for the honeymoon, so he gave me my tickets back. Carry on like that and your brother is going to die single. Why are you so jealous that he had a good marriage while yours was a dumpster of fire? I'm sure that we both have been living under the same roof for the past few months and have noticed that your marriage is strained. Because of you? Before you came here. We were so in love, and his attention was all on me. Then you decided to trash the nursery that he built for my son. That was when you started to ruin your own marriage. If I had known that you were like this, I would have never let him marry you in the first place. Whatever. Stay with your loser of a brother who cannot even afford a honeymoon, let alone his own house. How do you think he will succeed when you are always babying him? How can you say these things about him? Just because he got kicked out, now you're changing your tune. Wow. Hey, thank you so much for the stroller. Liam Jr. loves it. I'm happy that he does. It was so good to see you today. You're still as beautiful as ever. Don't talk nonsense. I look like something the cat dragged in. I don't know about that. You always look so effortlessly beautiful. You also seem less agitated. Thanks to the fact that my sister-in-law is not there. She brings nervous energy around me. I saw her. She lives in the building where one of my friends lives. So it's official that your brother is divorcing her? Yes. She messed up too many times. He is the one who made the choice after she spent weeks not talking to him. Can you believe that? She wanted him to be the one to break the silence. On top of that, she was treating you like that in your own house. Yep. She's an obnoxious little brat. Get rid of her. Hey, bro. How are you doing? I'm, uh... I'm doing well. Tomorrow the divorce is being finalized, and I'm hoping that I don't have to pay alimony. Me too. Either way, I'm glad to be rid of her. Thank you for showing me her true colors. She's the one who showed her true colors on her own. You will find someone worthy of you one day. You don't need her. Speaking of, how are things going between you and Liam? We're taking things slow, nothing too much. Right now we are co-parenting. I just want to make sure that CJ is happy and healthy. Then we'll see about everything else. We are still working on building the trust between us, and then we'll see. That's good and healthy. I'll support you in whatever you choose, sis. Hey, what was the outcome of the divorce? You didn't come home. I'm so sorry. I'm just waking up now. I went out with Liam to celebrate my divorce. That woman is the one who will be paying alimony to me, not the other way around. The lifestyle audit that she showed me has more money than me. She would since she made you pay for everything. You and Liam are drinking? Oh, no, no, don't get stressed. He had non-alcoholic drinks. He was the one that made sure I didn't drive while drunk. I'm at your place now. It's odd for the two of you to be hanging out. I bumped into him and he offered to buy me drinks. Don't worry, he didn't touch a single drink. Okay, I will take your word for it. He's actually become quite wise these days. You should give him another chance. I'm no longer angry with this guy. We'll have to see how things turn out. But yes, he seems to have changed. I heard that you went out with my brother. I swear I didn't drink. I'm not allowed to drink with my meds. I'm glad you're taking your meds and not drinking. I wanted to ask if you were home this weekend. Yes, why? I just want to visit you and sleep over with the baby. He could use some quality time with his dad. Yes, you two are more than welcome to come over. And I can't wait. I need to go and buy some food now. Good. See you then. Slowly, Liam and I mended our relationship and ended up renewing our vows. He hasn't taken any substance since then and sticks to his meat. Some days are good, some days are bad, but they never have gotten back to how bad they used to be. My brother started dating a girl from my office. She's kind and better to him than Mary ever was. Should married people allow siblings to stay with them? 